Hello, this is the full tutorial for the Fractal World mod. Now I wasn't quite planning on making this video yet, but someone decided to put my mod in their video. Yeah, by the way, thank you so much. That, it's been amazing. Um, I appreciate it. But anyway, ever since then, I've seen it from someone else's point of view, and I realized I really need to make a tutorial for this. So that's what this video will be. Now, if you don't want to hear my voice, I added a new command called Fractal World Help, and this will bring you to my wiki page. So if you feel like reading, then here's the homepage. It goes over the overview, and everything else is in these side tabs. But if you don't want to read, then here's an overview of the mod. Now, just real quick before I get into all of it, there should be sections on the video bar. So if you just look at that, you could skip through some sections or look for whatever you need. But hopefully I should explain everything. And if you have any other questions, just join my Discord server. And I'm almost always able to talk. So Fractal World is a powerful mod with a custom chunk loader, which can do a lot of things, similar but different to World Edit. So when using this mod, I would not recommend using it near any type of build or world that you care about because it will destroy your world. So for example, I have this nice build here, but if you're not careful, then it could all quickly just be destroyed. So again, don't use this on a world you care about unless you have a backup or something. So there are three main parts to this mod, being the main settings, the modes, and then each modes setting. So for example, the main settings are all labeled with min. So yeah, we should see a few of them have min, like the column loading speed and the render distance. And there's a few more settings elsewhere with main, but it's just the main options of the mod. And I'll get more to them in a minute. So the next part are the modes. And you can see these from Fractal World to get it mode. And it'll tell you most of the important modes. And you can change the mode with um, setting the mode to whatever option you want. So I'll just choose Symmetrifier, just for an example. And lastly, in the Settings tab, most of the modes have their own settings, which you can mess around with. Now again, I want to make UI and buttons for these, so it's way easier to navigate. But I currently don't know how to do that, so for now, they're all just commands. So a lot of the modes can be mixed together and they all have their true and false options. So for now, I am just using the Symmetrifier just as an example. But if we turn that on, then we'll see that is exactly what it does with the world. Instead of fractals, it makes it symmetrical. So yeah, this makes the world symmetrical. And of course, you can turn the mod on and off with Fractal World on and Fractal World off. Now, something to know about this mod is that the chunks actually save and load for every single world as if they were the same. So if we just change worlds real quick. So now I'm in a different world. And if we turn the mod on again, then we should see that it doesn't actually do anything at spawn. But instead, we get this weird chunk boundary a bit further away. And so to reset this, there's a command called Fractal World Reset, and this is just to make sure that it doesn't go over the same chunk a billion times, or just overwrite something that you do. Now this will reset every single time that you close Minecraft, if you're on single player at least. So if you want to save a certain area and not let the reset destroy the progress, then make sure to turn Permasave on. And this will make sure that it saves it by placing uh, structure voids at the top of the world. Again, I hope th this will make more sense in a few minutes, I think. So now I'm going to go over each mode and their settings, so you can understand what each one does. So to start this off, I'll be starting with the fractals. So for all the important settings with the fractals, just do fractal world get and settings. And I do need to rename some of these a bit better, but these are all the settings that really matter. So I'll just go from the top and go down. So max iterations, 
is how many times the math equation is looped. And for those that don't know, real quick, a fractal is a math equation, and it, the color or height of it is called its iterations. So, anyway, I'm not going to get too much into detail because I've explained this a bunch of times already. But you could set all of these with fractal world set and setting, and they're all listed here. So, max iterations, you can change to whatever you want. I'll do 75, or why not? Um, the minim minimum iterations is useful if you want to destroy blocks that are outside of that range. So I'd recommend just keeping this the same. Next up is the scale. And this will determine how big the fractal is. So if we just set this to 20, we should see... Well, actually, first of all, I have to set the mode back to the fractal. So set mode... And I'll be using the height generator, but there is also stuff for painting the world and for inverting how high it is. So yeah, we just turn this on. Oh crap, I didn't actually change the mode. Whoops. I mean, I didn't actually change the scale. Well, hopefully that makes sense though. Currently it's at 1, and 1 is too small, so if we just... I'll just set it to like... Oh, I said the <laughs> I said the wrong thing. Whoops. Well, bigger numbers obviously make bigger fractals, so let's just try this again. There we go. This will use the fractals math equation. So anything above max iterations is void, and anything below it will also be void. Now I think I have to do reset again because this is being weird. But if it's being too slow, then you can just set the column loading speed to be higher. So I'll just set it to like 150. And it really should be destroying this area by now. Oh, I have permasave on. Damn it, I keep forgetting these things. Well, that just shows if you have the setting of permasave on, then this will stay here instead of being deleted. But yeah, there's void on this side, and there's void in the middle as well. So next up is the initial height offset. This is just at 63. You probably don't need to change this, but this will set how high it initially is. So the Y level of this, the highest block in the world will be 63 plus however many iterations. So this is 70 because that would be the minimum iterations plus the height offset. You don't need to worry about that. Um, next up is the chunk loading speed, and this just is how many columns of the world get loaded every tick. So, you can mess around with that, make it faster, smaller. And the render distance should be pretty obvious, that's just how far it'll check away from you. Currently it's 8 chunks, but you change this to however many chunks you want. There is no limit, this can be set to like a million, and it'll eventually get a million blocks away, but... That might be a bit laggy. Next up is permasave. I've already talked about this, but you can see I reset the mod, so this stuff was destroyed while this area was saved, because permasave was on while I loaded this, so there are structure voids at the top of the world preventing this from changing. Next up is the fractal preset. Currently it's on the Mandelbrot, but you can change this to any preset using set Fractal preset, and there is a whole ton of options to make different fractals. There's also some special ones like the Julia set, which need a fractal seed, but those are a bit weirder, and uh, you can just mess around with that. It should explain itself. Uh, next up is the fractal offset, and to be honest, this is kind of hard to mess around with, so I'm just going to set the mode to the world painter and turn off the height generation. And I'm going to switch to a super flat world because it's a lot easier to show there. So here's a super flat world. I'm just going to set the scale to like 20. And if we just turn this on, after resetting it, then here's a Julia set. And 
by changing the fractal preset, we can end up with different results. So this will use the same settings, it'll just use a different preset. So next up is the offset, and this will just change where the center of the world is. So currently, if we just go to 0, 0, that would be over here. So if we just set the offset to any complex chords, then let's do 1, 0 for an example. Then it will move the whole fractal just wherever those complex chords are. So again, a lot of us, you could just mess around and do trial and error with. Um, next up is fractal power. This is for 3D fractals, which I've kind of discontinued. So I can't really explain this one. That one's for people smarter than me. And lastly, there is the color palette. So you can set the color palette here. And there's a whole bunch of different options. I'm just going to set it to wood. And again, if we reset this, then it just changes the color palette. And by the way, the, the way World Painter works is that it'll take the highest block. So if we have a block up here, then this World Painter will only paint the top one. But if you want to paint the whole world height, then set the mode to World Painter Full Height. And this will paint it for, again, the whole height of the world. So those are all the settings for the fractals. Sorry if I'm rushing this a little bit. Um, again, the wiki page goes over all of this, and if you have any questions, I have a Discord server. But anyway, next up, I'll go over the symmetrifier. So this one, when you set this one to true or false, it'll tell you that this overrides the mod. So this means that this does not work with the other modes, but instead this one is like one that it's by itself. So this one actually has two other modes, but I really need to move these because this is just a temporary fix. But there is circle generation and there is symmetrify. So I've already shown you symmetrify. This will split the world into four corners, while circle generation will turn the world into a circle. And uh, Fractal World Get has most of these, so it has Automata, Mode, Settings, and Symmetrifier. And this will just tell you all the settings that you have for it. Now again, this one's incomplete, and most of these are incomplete, so I still have a lot of work to do, but that's the main gist of it. Now with most of these other ones, you kind of just have to play around it. They all work pretty much the same way, and in the same style, but that's just the main way that most of these work. So the next mode I would like to talk about is World Sorter. So this kind of explains itself when you turn it on, but this will turn the mod into a sorting algorithm for 3D spaces. So this is easier to just show, and this, this doesn't have any settings, but instead you can change the sorter preset to any of these. Now I am going to set it to Bozo sort for the fun of it. And if we just turn this on, then it will try to sort the world around me. So it'll try to move the higher blocks away from zero, zero, while the lower ones go towards zero, zero. Now, this doesn't create or destroy any matter or blocks, but instead it's just moving the world. So if we just give this a little bit of time, we should see that most of the lower blocks end up over here or while the taller ones go further from zero, zero. And this will do this in your entire render distance, so I'd recommend using a small render distance for this. But if I just pause it here, then you can see that zero, zero is around about here somewhere, and all of the lower columns are here, while it's sorted the higher ones to be further away. Now every sorting algorithm works differently, but most of them try to sort the world in some way so that highest columns go further away and lower columns go closer to zero, zero. And I'll just turn world sorter off because the next mode I'll be talking about is the chunk randomizer. Once again, this is overriding the mod and there's no settings to this. It should just find a random chunk in the world and move it here. 
Although, this one's really laggy and really slow. Honestly, I'm on the verge of deleting Chunk Randomizer because it'll make your file size really big. I have a video explaining it, or just showing it, but it will pull random chunks from your world within 30 million blocks and, uh, like, set those. It's, it's really cool. The next mode I'll talk about is Vertical Mirror World, and this also, once again, has no other settings. It will just flip the world upside down as a copy, so again, I'll reset this and turn it on, and we should see there is a copy of the world in the sky, which is kind of cool. Now this does have a few problems. For some reason there's a lot of waterfalls which break the floor, and I really don't know how this is happening, but I'm still trying to fix that. And the last mode to talk about is the automata generator. So once again, this overrides it, and this is much easier to show in a super flat world. The main setting for this is the automata preset, and there's a whole bunch of them right here. My favorite, personally, is Invasive Coral. For this, so yeah, again, make sure that all of the other ones are false. And uh, this one also has Get Automata, and this one's a lot easier. It just tells you if it's on, what the preset is, and... Uh, Oh yes, so there's a, there's a, <laughs> I know that looks bad, but there's an automata preset called uh, Wolfram, and this one uses a rule, so the default one is 34, just ignore that, please. So <laughs> you could just set the um, automata rule to be like any number between 1 and 256, my favorite is 18. And that's just an automaton. So I'm gonna go back to uh, Invasive Coral, just because it's my favorite. And uh, to start it up, just use some black concrete. You put it on the ground. I'll just put a few down. That should probably be enough. So if we just do Fractal World on, actually reset, and on, you'll see that it does one iteration for when it's loaded. And if we just keep doing this, then you'll see that it changes over time. So instead of spamming Fractal World Reset, there is a mode called Auto Refresh Mode. So you can set this to true. And uh, um, you can set the interval of how many ticks it takes to change this. So I'll just set it to 20. And then it'll automatically reset the chunks that are loaded. And then when this is sped up, it looks like the automata is growing, and uh, it's fun to mess around with. So yeah, those are the modes. A lot of them I'd recommend doing trial and error with, experiment with them, have fun. And if you need any more information, either read the wiki on it, or join my Discord server, and I can explain stuff. But yeah, that's how to use my mod. So I'll... I'll probably update this a lot in the future, but for now, that's just what this does. So yeah, if you have any questions, feel free to join my Discord or comment them. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Bye!